Welcome back. A quick look now at what's making news from the world of business. Well, it was another flat day for the markets where the benchmark indices inched up slightly. Shakti Patra of NDTV Profit brings us what we can expect on Thursday. Based on the evidence uh, we have uh, as of now and the fact that on Thursday we have the expiry of uh, derivative contracts, uh, it's unlikely that Nifty will have a big move, maybe slightly positive, but anywhere closer to that uh, 50 to 50 mark because the support at 5180, 5200 is getting stronger and the big resistance at 5300 is still intact. Uh, Nifty intraday today we had a high opening, the top was made uh, right at the beginning around that uh, 5245 mark and then a gradual trickle down right into the red uh, and then Nifty gained about 20 points uh, towards close. Uh, ending 20 points higher. Now, what went higher today? Actually, day before yesterday when the U.S. government uh, passed the new health care bill, pharma stocks across the world uh, have got a big boost and for the second successive day, Indian pharma stocks gained about 1.5-2%. Piramal Healthcare that acquired uh, IPIL from CIPLA, that gained about 3.5% and some of the other names with pretty good volumes gained about 2-3%. to But the main reason why the Nifty actually ended in the green was the oil and gas pack. Heavyweights here, Reliance and ONGC, Reliance close to that 1100 mark, uh, gained about 1.5%. ONGC 1% higher ensured that uh, Nifty never had any trouble uh, ending in the green. The other pack which actually lost, lost for the second successive day was the Realty Pack. Uh, again, no prizes guessing. Uh, these stocks are back to their levels where the Nifty was at 33, 3400, which means that Nifty has uh, gained about 60% since then. But these stocks are back to those levels close to 52 week lows and India Bulls real estate again lost about 2.5% uh, after yesterday's 6% cut. Uh, the another stock, pack which actually lost again for the first time in about 5 days was the Telecom Pack. These stocks have gained quite a bit over the last 4 days. Today, you can just call it a bit of profit booking. Bharti was down about 3% uh, in trade. Now, tomorrow we have a day off. On Thursday, we have the expiry of f and contracts. The big support at 5180, 5200 is still intact. Resistance at 5300, again, looks difficult as of now. So a flat day of trade, but the big breakout or the breakdown probably on Friday, the start of the April series. Well, if you haven't caught the IPL fever yet, we make sure you are part of the IPL festival on Cricket Carnival right here on NDTV Hindu. Now, Royal Challengers Bangalore have made a rather ordinary start to their match against the Chennai Super Kings at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore. After being put into bat, they lost five quick wickets but were later stabilized by a fine knock from Robin Uthappa. Bangalore finally managed to score 171 for five from their 20 overs while Bangalore fielded an unchanged side. Chennai were forced to effect two changes to their lineup. An injured Justin Kemp made way for the Tasmanian import George Bailey and Manpreet Goni was dropped to make way for Sudeep Tyangi. Now, while all of us have been dutifully watching that match from our studios, our features reporter Srikant, who is not exactly a CSK fan, took the risk of entering the CSK den. Here's what he sent us. Everyone, I'm here at the den of the Chennai Super Kings. This is the Havana pub at uh, Rain Tree uh, Hotel. And uh, I have here with me some ardent fans of Chennai Super Kings. We've just seen that the innings of the uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore has just gotten over. The target is 172. Now, whether Chennai will be able to do it, then only these guys here should be able to tell me. Will Chennai be able to do it? Will yeah, in 15, yeah, yeah. in 15 hours. In 15 hours is what yeah, their claim is. Yeah. But considering their performance in the last match, I'm really speculative about that. But it was brilliant performance from Murli Theran. But we are just hoping that Hayden can come out with his mangoosh bat and make his magic work. Do you guys think that Hayden can make his magic work with the yeah, mangoosh bat? Of course. With no, the mangoosh no. bat, no doubt. No doubt about it. Too. He's yeah. going to do them... Uh, Almost he's going to do century today. Yeah. Yep. So, and thirty balls. <laughs> thirty balls. And thirty balls. As you see, the uh, the Arden fans are hoping that he gets a hundred and it seems a little speculative here, but let's see if it works for them. Would you guys like to cheer for the Chennai Super Kings uh, at the end of it? Can you exactly. whistle porter for the Chennai Super Kings? Yes, absolutely. He can he will <laughs> the whistle. There there I told you, see there's nobody who's actually going to whistle for the Chennai Super Kings, but we just hope and you know, all that we can say is best of luck Chennai Super Kings and we hope they come up on top after this match. Well, that's all we have for you at the moment. Thanks so much for watching NDTV Hindu. Goodbye for now.